Good morning, awesome artist. If you remember last week, we watched that awesome video about Roy G. Bibb, and he taught us about every color in the rainbow. And last week, together, we colored in your color wheel. We started with red and did all our warm colors, and then we started with green and did all of our cool. After you finished this last week, it should have looked a little bit like mine. This week, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to draw our lion head and body so that that way we can glue it all together and you'll have your color wheel lion mane. Now, artist, when you start to draw your lion, if you make a mistake, I'm going to challenge you to erase it and try again. In the art room, we always make mistakes. Even Miss Breeding makes mistakes. So if you mess up a line or if your circle's not perfect, that's okay because every table's gonna have an eraser. Just erase it and try again, okay? When you get your paper, it's gonna look a little bit like this. This is gonna be the color we're gonna do for our line head and body. So first, I'm gonna start at the top of my paper and I'm just gonna draw a circle for my lion's head. This is like Your circle may not be perfect and that's okay. After you draw a circle, we need a shape for a lion's ear. So what I'm gonna do, at the top of my head, I'm gonna draw not one, but two rainbow shapes that go up and out to give my lion some ears. After we do our lion ears, we need a shape for our lion's eyeballs. Does anyone can think of a shape that you could use for your lion's eyes? If you said circle or oval, that would be right. Now we know that a lion has two eyes, so I'm gonna draw one circle and then another circle for my lion's eyes. I think I'm also gonna add a half circle. So again, drawing that U sort of shape, that rainbow shape inside of my lion's eyes. After we draw our lion's eyes, I'm gonna draw sort of the strip or the nose of my lion. So I'm gonna start with a rectangle shape that's gonna go down in between my lion. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle coming down in between. This is gonna look like your lion's nose coming down. At the bottom of that rectangle, I'm gonna draw a triangle shape that looks like this. Go ahead and take a second and see, does your lion look like mine? Do you have a circle for his head, half circles for his ears, circles for his eyes, and then a triangle for his nose? At the end of my triangle, I always like, whether I'm drawing a cat or a dog, I usually like to do this little mouth. And I'm gonna do the same thing for a lion because he is a giant cat. So I'm gonna start right at the tip of my triangle and I'm gonna draw a U shape coming out to one side. And then I'm gonna start right there again. I'm gonna draw another U shape coming out. And I think I'm going to add three dots so that it looks like my lion has whiskers. Speaking of whiskers, we have to draw those. So I'm going to draw a couple of straight lines coming out. You can draw as many whisker lines as you want to. Now, right now, our lion may not look fully like a lion because remember we have to give him a color wheel mane in just a second. So check and see, does your lion look like mine? Now friends, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my lion's body, but I'm going to do this a little differently because if you look at my example, my lion's body isn't connected to the head because I have my mane that goes in front of it. So what I'm going to do at the bottom of my paper, I'm going to start at the bottom and do a big rainbow. It doesn't have to touch my head, 
because we're gonna cut them out separate. So just go ahead and do a big rainbow. You can make your lion really skinny or you can make your lion really big. On my rainbow, I'm gonna do two straight lines down for my lion to make it look like arms, like he's sitting. Now friends, you have just drawn the outline of your lion. In just a second, I'm gonna give you a black marker. What you're gonna do is you're gonna outline or go over those pencil marks with your black marker. So what I'm gonna do, I might start with my body, and I'm gonna trace over my pencil marks that I just drew. So when you get done with your lion, you shouldn't be able to see your pencil. And if you have any pencil marks left, you can always erase them with your big eraser at your table. So I'm going around my lion's head, outlining it, going over my pencil marks. This is why we always practice with our pencil first. So that way, if you make a mistake, it's okay. We can always erase and try again. Now friends, if you notice on mine, I still have some pencil marks that I didn't trace exactly over my line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my big eraser and I'm just gonna erase any pencil marks that I have left. So that way when I'm done, my line will just have that black marker outline around it. I think I'm even gonna add some dots on the rectangle of my line. All right, friends, I'm gonna give you your piece of paper and together we're gonna start drawing your line first with pencil and then we're gonna outline or go over our pencil marks with some Sharpie. 